Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samux Code. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your JavaFX um, project from a simple Java project that we can create inside the NetBeans IDE. So basically, we're transforming or converting a simple uh, Java project into a working JavaFX project. So we're going to download first the SDK of the JavaFX and you have to uh, make sure that you are downloading the right version for you. And uh, for example, we have version 23 here. Uh, you have to make sure that you have the minimum GDK uh, 21 right here. So release 21 will be the minimum GDK 17. So for now, we're going to use the SDK 23 of the JavaFX, so that's why we need the minimum GDK, which is 21. So you just have to um, download the version that you want. So in my case, I'm going to be using version 23 and Windows as my operating system, 64-bit for the architecture. And of course, we're going to select the SDK. Click on the download button. And of course, we're just going to wait for maybe a minute for us to download or fully download the uh, SDK of JavaFX. And after that, we're going to extract the files into our directory of preference. Uh, in my case, I'm going to be adding it into my C drive and um, create a library in JavaFX pointing to that directory. So... Uh, now that uh, the SDK has been downloaded, we can um, extract this to the preferred location. So uh, this is where I pasted the uh, SDK and we're just going to extract this file because it contains all the necessary files for us to have a working JavaFX project. So it should be here, as you can see, JavaFX SDK-23. Uh, so we're going to use that and we're going to open up our NetBeans IDE and we're going to uh, create a library here under Tools and then Libraries. We're going to create new library for our JavaFX, JavaFX23. And we're going to include the jar files from the downloaded SDK of JavaFX. So we're going to locate that uh, in here, JavaFX, and then we're gonna select or open the live folder of this directory. So live folder, and then you have to select all these files or jar files. And it should be here, as you can see, and then after that, we can create now our very first JavaFX project coming from a Java uh, Java application uh, project. So we just have to select Java with Ant and then Java application. And then for now, let's just add a project name, F3, Hello World. And then uncheck the create main class and click on finish. Now after creating our uh, Java project, we can now convert this into... Um, okay, so uh, just right click the project and then we're going, we're going to set some properties for our project here. For the libraries, we're going to add to the class path, the, the, library, the library that we have created earlier. So that's uh, JavaFX, I think it's JavaFX23. And under the compiling option of the project properties, we can uncheck the compile and save. And also under the run, we have the VM options. So we're going to add a snippet here just to uh, include the modules of the JavaFX every time we run our program. So you can copy and paste this line right here. I, I'll be adding the link in the description box below. So go to VM options, 
and paste the snippet that we um, copied from this uh, gist and then after that make sure that you have uh, correctly set set the path of our uh, job effects SDK so I think that's uh, okay for me because I have added added the SDK into the location or local disk C and then the directory job effects SDK 23 and then make sure that it is under the live folder and then click on okay so now we can create the main class for our job effects project so I'll just name it as main and then I'm going to remove the comments first and I'm going to extend the application class or I mean inherit the application class from the JavaFX SDK and going to import this and implement the abstract methods so I'm just gonna remove this for now and add the main method for our main class okay and in here we're gonna set the stage uh, stage uh, title set title this will be JavaFX 33 and then stage that show and of course we can add a scene and a node for our stage so we're gonna add first a layout root equals new vbox okay and then scene equals new scene specifying the root as our main layout and we're going to set the frame uh, frames size is 600 by 400 okay we're going to import the scene class and also the vbox okay inside the vbox we're going to add a label this is just a simple um, job effects application just to show you that the conversion of the java project is successful so label sample java effects project okay and then we're going to import of course the label we're gonna add the label to our root by uh, get by getting the children first and then add the label no okay and of course we're going to set the scene for our stage set scene okay so i think that's it for our simple job effects project we can now save this and of course run our file There you have it. This is our first JavaFX project and uh, we can see the label here and as you can see we have successfully converted a Java project into a working JavaFX project. So if you have questions let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer your queries. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.